first we start by drawing principal axis of any measurement you can take now from your left side leave two to three centimeters and start marking a distance of one centimeter five points of one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter now the center point of this the third point we mark keep our scale and draw a line of two centimeters above the principal axis and two centimeters below the principal axis now take a protractor and align it perpendicular to the principal axis in such a way that the two points they give a nice curve so we get a beautiful curve of a convex lens you can also use a compass for the same this method was taught to me by our principal ma'am Antoinette and I'm forwarding it to you so we draw a lens now this is a converging lens and we have to take the image we have to make an object so we mark this point as 2 f1 this is f1 f2 and 2 f2 the object is placed between f1 and 2 f1 so when object is placed between f1 and 2 f1 we will be getting a magnified and real image so let us see so of one centimeter or maybe a little lesser than that between f1 and 2 f1 draw a vertical line this is your object according to the rules of the ray diagrams the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis and passes through focus f2 the second point the second ray will pass through optical center o of the lens so this point of the object merges with optical center and goes undeviated Now, wherever the points are meeting, that point of convergence gives us an image. The image is real, inverted and magnified compared to the object. So, if this was our object AB, we get the image A dash B dash. Now, we have to magnify a dash b dash in such a way that we get a virtual image so for this we need another lens which will help in giving us a virtual image so for this you have to measure the distance between o and b dash so let us see how much is the distance so here maybe i'm getting i'm getting approximately it is 2.9 means approximately it is equal to 3 so another 3 whatever distance you are getting that same distance you mark a point on the right so here 3 centimeters approximately so I am marking at 6 now draw another uh, perpendicular line of 3 centimeters above the principal axis and 3 centimeters below the principal axis again we'll take a protractor align the position of the protractor so that it is perpendicular to the principal axis and the two curves they meet the two points they meet to give a curve of the lens
So now for this lens, this is objective. Our first lens is the objective and the second lens is the eyepiece. So now what happens here? Now measure the total distance between this optical center and optical center of the second lens. It is 6 centimeters. So the same 6 centimeters we are going to mark on the other side from the optical center. Mark 6 centimeters. This is your focus F2 of the second lens. So I'll mark it as maybe as F2 dash. Now I want magnified and virtual image of A dash B dash. So if I want virtual image of A dash B dash means it should be placed between optical center and the focus. So now this A dash B dash which was the image of the first lens it acts as the object for the second lens. This becomes the objective and this becomes the focus. So now according to the rule again we will start drawing the ray diagram. Incident ray parallel to the principal axis and passes through focus F2 of the second lens. Then join A dash O according to the rule conventions. So this is how you get. Don't forget to mark arrows. Without arrows your marks will be deducted. So please be very careful. Now we see that our rays we can converge the rays on the other side. So we extend our rays backwards. When the word comes behind or backwards means it is sure shot formation of a virtual image. Try with a dotted line. So wherever you get the convergence, that is your image of A dash B dash. So this becomes, so supposing this was AB, the object, its image was A dash B dash and the image of A dash B dash is, we will mark it as A double dash and B double dash. So this is a ray diagram for a compound microscope. It is very easy to draw. Try and practice it well.